Oh, I'm just leaving Starbucks. You know, I did this video about five times and I just get it. I don't feel like I got my message across quickly enough or fluidly enough. And I end up doing the video a number of times, right? It doesn't happen very often, but it does. It happens sometimes. But I want to make sure that I convey what I'm trying to do. Ooh, moment of truth. Sunday morning drinks at Starbucks. All right, for those of you who are Starbuckians, for those of you who, who drink Starbucks, the Sunday morning drink is different. That's when they get the kids to work at Starbucks. And at least half the time, it is not worth even going there. The drink is screwed up, especially this little puppy right here, London Fog. So it's a tea with some vanilla in it. It's a latte. I like it. Sundays, ooh, big risk on Sundays. So many things to screw up in this drink. Moment of truth. Oh yeah. Yeah, they got it right. They got it right. It's gonna be a good Sunday. When you get the right drink and it's not screwed up on Sunday, it's gonna be a good Sunday. Pretty pumped about this right now. Anyway, the video I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get across to you, is simple. It's about racehorses. We are selling some of our sophomores. Many of you know I've beaten and beaten and beaten this drum why we're selling them, why it's important to turn horses over, why it's important to grow our company, our group, right? Our team from the top up. And along the way, you're gonna have to trim the, the branches, right? You have to move some of the horses out and continue to strengthen from the bottom up. And we'll add horses also along the way. Whether it be the, a brave world along the way or, or uh, a Donato Patriot K for two very vastly different reasons. You need to add some, some horses. So um, I'm looking at the Harrisburg catalog and then I get emails from people all over the last two weeks. Are you getting horses? Are we getting racehorses? Are we getting racehorses? Yeah, we'll get racehorses. Yeah, we'll get racehorses. But I haven't really told you at what price range. I haven't really told you anybody we're looking at. So here, I'll make it as simple as I can to everybody. What we're looking to do is quite simple. We're looking to sell the horses that are approaching what I would consider a saturation point, and I'm not comfortable gambling that they can push past that point. And we're looking to replace them with horses that are either below that satur saturation point, well below, that non-winners of one, two, three, twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 made that can do at least they can do, it looks like they can do. I bid on four horses in the last two days on Ongate. I'm bidding on one right now that's a pacer. But I wanna strengthen our core, strengthen our, people watch horses race all winter, but strengthen what we're doing. And that's not an easy thing to do. So this is what I'm trying to bring into the stable, horses that are below that, that water line. And the horses like won my heart that kind of fit it, yeah, but she's, she's worth, very good money right now. I think she's gonna come up with a very good race this Tuesday and next Tuesday. And I think she's gonna bring pretty good money in Harrisburg. To replace her with a horse that's four months behind Won My Heart Hanover but looks very similar would be okay, right? Less money, less wins, more racing. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what we're trying to do. Or purchase a, a hardened, aged horse, a good race horse or a strong three-year-old. There is a horse on Ongate right now that is selling Nancy Tactor selling, it's gonna bring 100,000 or more, maybe a hundred and a quarter, maybe more. It's got 300,000 made at two and three. It's raced in all the major stake races, paced in 48, 49. Um, I just don't know if I'm super thrilled about buying a horse from Nancy, just that there's nothing missed. So, you know, at best, you're, 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 unless you're finding value in the purchase price, you can't assume you're gonna improve that horse. To be able to keep it at par, at level, would be fantastic. Uh, but that's a chore. So um, if you guys are interested in something like that, higher end, let me know. But what I envision Harrisburg being is uh, us going there with, say, $85,000 to spend. Picking up some of those numbers of two horses. If we find a horse that we really like for 40 or 50 or 60, then fine. That kind of tightens the, tightens the gap to that 85, obviously. We would likely end up with two horses rather than three. But I think it would be fair, looking at the money we could spend, uh, looking at what we're looking at purchasing, 85,000 should be enough. So uh, I figured if we, if we, um, if we discussed uh, building a partnership for $85,000 and that would end up being $850 US per lot, sell all 100 lots and um, you know, head to Harrisburg and buy us some horses to fill up our dance card for the winter, so to speak. So. Uh, what was a 12 minute video, an 11 minute video, has now turned into a proper five minute video. You guys know what we're trying to do. 
we're trying to bring in some fresh faces, trim the branches of the stable, moving into the fall and the winter, and uh, have some fun racing horses all winter. Stake racing in the summer is not the same as overnight racing in the winter, and to fill up two very different uh, menus, so to speak, is difficult sometimes. We had the proper yearlings for 2022 in the summer, but we have six months to get to that, plus the last uh, two months that are left in the year. So we have eight months of time to fill up with our horses in the barn. How do we do that? We have some two-year-olds coming back, but we need to purchase some other horses. So I am looking to put together a purchasing partnership of $85,000 for the Harrisburg sale, or thereabouts. If we only end up with buying one or two at Harrisburg, we have money left, and we bought a horse on OnGate or privately, so be it. We're looking to fill up a partnership for this time of year, fall 2021, for uh, $85,000. So that's the plan. That's the video. That is the message. Let me know if you want to become involved. If we don't fill it up, we don't fill it up. But I suspect after the emails I've been getting, we will fill it up quite quickly. So again, one partnership, uh, $85,000 US to go to the Harrisburg sale to buy race horses. Horses that will race, whether they be three-year-olds, four-year-olds, five-year-olds, or what have they. Uh, race horses for uh, the fall and winter and spring of 2021, 2022. Let me know if you want to get involved. Again, I appreciate all the emails from everybody. They've been super helpful driving the direction we make, whether it be the Ohio Partnership or Lexington, Ontario, and now into Harrisburg. Um, all of your dialogue, all of your emails help drive, help help maneuver and, and uh, point the boat that is the stable.ca in the proper direction. So take care. I will talk to you all very soon. I hope you had a great weekend.